How is everybody doing? I got uh, five weeks today since I had my uh, back fusion surgery and reporting in. So uh, a month and one week, uh, I had it done and feeling great. Uh, I'm up to a mile walk at a time uh, and I'm doing that <clears throat> two to three times a day. Uh, I back off on days that I have physical therapy so as not to, uh, you know, strain my back or, or uh, you know, fatigue it out. Um, I have discomfort. I have discomfort where the, uh, the bolts and the, uh, and the, and the brackets are, um, but I'm not having pain. So the spine is feeling better and better. It's just I can tell where the bolts are. Um, and the swelling's starting to go away. It's, it's, I'm at five weeks and I still have swelling. Um, I'm doing physical therapy. That's really helping a lot. Um, I'm not killing myself. I'm, I'm knowing my limits. Um, and I'm learning more exercises for my situation. I thought I knew everything, but uh, really I'm... I'm trying to learn as much as I can. Uh, the other thing is I went and picked out a really, really good uh, uh, physical therapy place. Uh, I went on Google and I checked reviews because the one that I had uh, that my doctor referred me to prior to my surgery did not like at all on many different levels. It's too far away, uh, amateurs, it wasn't really run well. Um, so I went on Google and I looked at what my insurance took and started searching and then I found the place and I actually went to the place to visit and check it out before my surgery. That was really important I think because I found a good a guy who runs the office and who basically manages people does a really good job. So um that's physical therapy. Let's see what else. Um walking like I said uh, I'm up to over a mile now. Um, I'll do it two to three times a day. Three times is kind of pushing it though. Uh, but I've really pushed it up, right? You know, my first week after surgery, I was walking a tenth of a mile, or maybe 0.15 miles of a mile. Not much. Um, and now I'm at five weeks and I'm at a mile. So that's pretty good. Um, the other thing, stretching, stretching, stretching. Uh, what I really work on are my hamstrings. Uh, I work my quads. I work uh, uh, the glutes. There's a, there's a gal on who has a YouTube channel. She's called Femme Fusion. Her name's Dr. Bree. I learned a lot from her. She's got a lot of videos, but uh, she also does very basic videos for people who are coming off of uh, fusion surgery. So I go in to see my doctor uh, in 13 days. So it's not a six-week uh, eval. It's more like a seven-week. So I think right beforehand, I'm going to go out and get my uh, x-rays done so I can go in and we can see how the fusion's going. Uh, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of worried that, uh, you know, it's not fusing. But uh, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that it is. Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been on my uh, diet of high uh, vitamins and minerals. Cod liver oil, vitamin C, magnesium, I drink a lot of milk, eat steaks, eat protein. I take a, uh, I take a electrolyte powder that's full of minerals, real huge. Um, cod liver oil, did I say that? And then I also have something called a grounding mat that I've been sleeping on for, for months now. Um, and I really feel that that uh, helps the blood circulation because of the, uh, because of dealing with the electricity and stuff. And but that's a whole other subject, uh, and if you're interested, it's called uh, earthing mat or grounding mat. Pretty amazing stuff if you do it yourself and check the uh, voltage with a voltage meter, and you can see for it yourself that it works. So there's something to it. I don't know, but there's something to it, and you can do it, and you can see how it works. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep my back healing. I'm not going to push it. Uh, i got to keep telling myself that. Um, things are getting better, not overnight, uh, but it's little tiny increments, little by little by little, but it's progressively getting better. Um, and I wake up and I went on a walk this morning and I'm feeling better than I did, uh, you know, before surgery at times. And before surgery at times, I was really laid up. But if this can give me the strength and stability that I'm looking for with the fusion of the spine, so it's not two parts... Let it become one part and let the thing fuse up. and Because uh, that's where all my pain was. Not all, but most of my pain was from uh, the, uh, the two uh, vertebrae rubbing up against each other. And then I just fused them together, man. Um, so anyway, take care, and I'll get back to you probably week six. Bye.